Hello, it's Mr. Sarisa, and this time we're going to talk about application problems, but the bridge problem. And so um, the bridge problem can appear with almost all these conic sections, but this time we'll talk about a semi-elliptical arch bridge. So that's just saying there's some water here, and then there's the bridge going over it, um, and it's covered, um, and basically you're just marking to what the information they give you is. I would say almost automatically you always set the origin right at the center so I'll set the origin right there um, and then we can find out all the information based off of that uh, so if you think it through you can almost always do these and they're not that difficult so let's just walk our way through one of them I'm going to do number 70 on page uh, 658 so let's uh, read that through, it's saying the arch of a bridge is a semi-ellipse with a horizontal major axis. I was kind of assuming that one. Um, and that just tells us, okay, we can use this x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1 uh, as our formula. We don't have to worry about any h or k's if we do this right. The span is 30 feet, so all the way through this is going to be 30 feet and it also tells us the top of the arch is 10 feet above the major axis so right here this is 10 feet so right from there I'm thinking okay what's the information that I know well I know it's 15 on this side and it's 15 on this other side so that tells me a equals 15 because it goes all the way to the vertex. That's what they're looking for. And it also tells us that B is going to be that height of 10. So that's our B. So we already know A and B, which means we have a pretty good head start on our equation. Um, however, we're going to use it. So X squared over 15 squared, that's 225, plus Y squared over 10 squared, which is 100. And that will equal 1. So let's find out what else we need to know. Um, there, keep going. The roadway is horizontal and is 2 feet above the top of the arch. So that's new. That's not using the, um, it's not using the ellipse at all. That's just extra information here. And so let me clear some of this up now that we're done with it. And so we have this. Okay. Uh, find the vertical distance from the roadway to the arch at five foot intervals. So five, ten, and then fifteen. Those are our five foot intervals. Well, fifteen looks easy because fifteen lands exactly uh, at the base. So if we're looking for the archway, or sorry, the road down to the arch, then we're looking for this height right here. So I'm going to say h sub 5 for that one, h sub 10 for that one, and then all the way down, let's say h sub 15, so that we know which heights we're talking about. Alright, so let's get started and just think this through. Um, one thing we know is that h sub 15, that equals 12, because that's the whole height, the height of the arch plus the roadway. So that's going to be 12 feet. Uh, so that helps us out. Right away we know this answer. And then for the other ones, it's a little bit more difficult, but if we think of it as everything has to add up to 12, if we take the height of the archway plus to the road, that has to equal 12, and then this has to total 12. Um, so these numbers, these are really our Ys. Okay, those are going to be our y value when we put them into our equation here. All right, and then our x values, those are going to be the 5 and the 10 that we'll use. So I think probably the best way to go about this is to solve for y in order to um, make our lives easier. And what I could do is just put it in the graphing calculator under y equals and put the whole equation in there and then just plug in the x's. So first, I'm going to subtract out this x squared uh, over 225 on both sides. 
So I'm going to get rid of that. So minus x squared over 225. And then I'm left with y squared over 100. And so um, I'll multiply both sides by 100 so that these cancel. I'll take all of this and multiply by 100. And that's going to equal my y squared. And then finally, I take the square root of both sides. And so the square root and the square cancel. And what I'm left is, with is y equals the square root. So I'm going to make it pretty now. Um, so it's easy to type into my calculator. 100 times 1 minus x squared over 225. And that's my y value. So remember, um, what we're really looking for are the h values. And h is really just 12 minus the y value. So in my calculator, um, I'm going to put in the y equals my h formula. So 12 minus the square root of 100 times 1 minus x squared over 225. And that tells me when I plug in whatever my x value is, I'll immediately get this height that we're looking for. So this is really, I think, difficult to think through, but I really think it's important for you to find out how I thought this through. Okay, It's really important that you understand how to take these application problems and be able to think them through because every application problem is different. And if you try to memorize this one way that I'm showing this one problem, you're not going to be able to do the other problems. All right, so it's really important that you understand um, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so that you can apply it to different problems. All right, so now that I put this all into my calculator, I'm going to take my H and then put in 5. So if you remember um, before I've told you this, uh, if in your calculator you just hit the VARS button and then go right... If vars and then right, that's your y vars. And you hit enter on that. And then you choose 1 for y1. And that's going to give you this y1 piece on your calculator. And then in parentheses, you just put your input value. So we're going to put input in parentheses 5. And I get 2.57. So I'm just plugging in, essentially I'm, I'm taking the 5 from here and plugging it into my equation right here and putting 5 in for x. Okay. And then let's do the same thing. We're going to do it at h uh, equaling 10. Or sorry, the x equaling 10. We're going to plug it in for h. And so I just do second enter and change that 5 to a 10. And I get 4.55. And then if I want to just double check that I was right at the beginning and make sure my equation's working, I'm going to do the second enter and this time put in 15. And that should come out to 12 because that's the height of the bridge from the roadway all the way down to the water. And it worked out. So I found my final answer is the 2.57 feet. 4.55 feet and 12 feet from the roadway down to the arch. Okay, thank you. I hope that this was helpful.